So see what happened was I played Fena Steam just to challenge these guys if they can accompany that and just do an impromptu and all of a sudden we kick started a jump session that was off the cuff ladies and gentlemen that was off the cuff it was not planned at all What? I'm actually curious what what else we can do <laughs> apart from of course the album celebrating the album. I, I try you. Actually, yeah, try. Actually, I try. I, I, I feel like playing a love song. You feel like? Uh, can you stop being in love for a second and concentrate on jamming? You want to play a love song? Yeah, I want to jump to a love song. To jump to a love song. Yeah. All right. Let me find the perfect love song that you can enjoy. Okay. All right. That you can play. And if you have any suggestions, please hit us up 984 in the morning in the next, like, three minutes, and we shall play that love song. I don't know which one it is, but, yo, love song at 9.20 to the top of the hour. Hey, right. Now, Robbie Holmes Project are launching their album right here on the Best Mix of Music exclusively for the first time ever. This is being done. It's absolutely fantastic. And we threw them a curveball just trying to find out if we can jam, and indeed they jammed. Now, uh, <laughs> Naomi... Mo, hey. Naomi has set a, a, a very Naomi Mutua has set a very interesting challenge for you guys. It's not me. Me, I just asked guys to send the songs. Yeah. All right, Naomi. They say they, <laughs> they say they know where you live, but she set the challenge very high. This is what you need to match. Don't think I've had this much fun in a show in a while. Here we go.
This is so much fun. This is so, so much fun. Oh, man. All right, Mozeo, are you happy? <laughs> That was fantastic. Yo, had you guys been rehearsing this? It sounds mm. like you've played this. Actually, that was random. Really? Yeah. See, I say like, no. no. <laughs> what? Yeah. Two parts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, what people need to know uh, as well is Nairobi Horns is, uh, is actually one of the hardest working cover bands in this town as well. Is it? So we play a lot of parties, yeah. corporate mm. work. We do so much mm. awards, dinners, or... So the repertoire is endless, man. We play like DJs. And of course, mm. yeah, right. yeah. Uh, your, your sound is totally, it allows for you to do that, but yeah. also allows to do collaboration. So what collaborations can we look forward to? Okay. <coughs> well, um, I was just having a conversation with um, another lady, a fair lady. She's called Della. And she's like, Rabbi, I need to come on board. Let's do this music. That's how she said it, didn't she? Uh, yeah. Because yeah, we, 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 we come a long way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, sister. Like, uh, let's do something. Rabbi, let's Rabbi, do something. Let's yeah, do yeah, something. You know, you know. Rabbi, and I was like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, we should. Like, we should, yeah. Why? Because. <laughs> well, I hope it's music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Her, I dig her music and her writing skills. Um, mm-hmm. Another she lady I was having a conversation with was Kemunto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she was like, ah, you better call me. Hit me up for the next project and stuff like that. So. Those are the, the few people that I I have and McKinley yeah. has, and and uh, it doesn't it doesn't stop in ter- in terms of just you know musicians who are you can say Afro jazz or something like that because uh, Kato Chang has done a lot of collaborations with the likes of uh, Lisa Noah and because yeah. they're, they're oh, and, uh, and we're working on something with Kato as well as well yeah fantastic yeah but uh, mainstream artists are you are you for me to do I'm that? a lover of hip hop mm-hmm. like I will totally do something with a rapper oh uh, really as a producer yeah yeah sure there's a lot of uh, uh, some of my influences, you know, have been he- heavily influenced by hip hop. So, mm-hmm. any rappers out there? I mean, I think, who, I think we were talking with the uh, Octopizo. And, nice. Uh, uh, that would be like that kind of. I mean, if yeah. we're happy to, like, w- we we make music, man. Mm. We give a live show. We write. Yeah. And people have flow, you know. So indeed, I, I look at it the same thing. The way say we play, the way they rap, mm-hmm. mm. because you have to have like ideas on the spot, you yeah. know, popping. So exactly. I would totally be up for hip hop. Collaboration. Collaboration. Uh, Victor, you, you you don't seem like this too. It's like, no, no, it has to be proper <laughs> instrumentation and we have to have proper melody. And tools. Who, yeah. <laughs> who, no. would you, who would you collaborate with? Um, yeah, Shinsky. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Actually, what people don't know about Victor is he's uh, in the group. He's the most precise me- melody player. He can imitate the human voice yeah. to the T. No way. Let's do it. Let me. He can talk. Really? Yeah. Victor, go ahead. They're like, have a kind of like, Victor, how are you? You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That, that has, was funny. He has, he has such a, an amazing. Yeah. When you play melodies, he can he can imitate the human nuances. That is fantastic. More than, yeah, it's like, uh, what time did you get home yesterday? Oh. <laughs> it was like 9.30 Yeah, <laughs> yeah right yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen as, as, as we wrap up What do you want people to, to know About Nairobi Hon's project That they already don't know Through this particular album uh, I don't want to take that I think, I think for us we, um, we want to encourage musicians To come out and instrumentalists To uh, take on the stage Center stage and not be on the back scene and um, also just to support uh, upcoming artists mm-hmm. uh, for example we are working with a gentleman called Blavion uh, trying to support him and bring him out and um, yeah lighting another candle that's pretty much what we're doing mm-hmm. and uh, pretty much you know just you know m- m- you this music uh, can can you know can be a breadwinner for you can, can come exactly. through for you so that's we need to encourage people to also take on and have that seriousness and approach to music mm-hmm. uh, just the same way people 8 to 5 put exactly. in the work and time and that's Nairobi Horns for me it's just to say uh, actually what he said just to add on to that there is uh, so much possibility you know before we say Nairobi Horns it, it didn't look like it was possible to have an instrumentalist led band mm-hmm. of this kind and you have a sound like and stuff so th- there's a lot of young people out there with dreams and especially if you play you know horns mm. especially if you're a trumpet player you're a saxophonist you're a trombonist you know feel free to reach out to us 
we're always talking to especially the ball play horns mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know sharing skills and all that kind mm. of stuff which is which is really really uh, you know uh, it's fantastic that you guys are taking on this amazing project and influencing a lot of other people who are coming behind you. Now, as we wrap up, yeah. where, one more time, yeah. can we find this amazing music? And where can we find you guys playing live? Okay, so uh, let me run. Th- can I talk about something else before that? Yeah, yeah. So we also have uh, uh, we also have merchandise. Just mm-hmm. to... Uh, you owe me a hoodie. <laughs> First of all, as I remember, I owe you a hoodie. Yes, it's right in studio, right next all to me. All right, you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You know, so we have these amazing black and gold hoodies, and we in this partnership with uh, Spring Valley Coffee, who did like a whole special line of branded coffee. So you get jazz and coffee, <laughs> <laughs> which ideally should not go together. <laughs> you know, for three Gs, uh, we got that going. But uh, we have the album live on MOOC right now. The link is out there. We'll be in international stores next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll have a gig uh, towards the end of the month, hopefully, uh-huh. which will be like a, a proper launch gig. So keep out your eye for that, and we'll have maybe physical copies there. Martin, Martin Kariuki just stepped in. Martin, that music is that dope, eh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, everyone had you, even in Afghanistan. Thanks, man. <laughs> awesome. You guys awesome. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Queen here. Okay, okay. All right, all right. It's a queen. <laughs> it's a queen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's Rabai. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, what his name is. Okay. <laughs> 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 the Queen. <Harley> Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, gentlemen. Yeah, and also we're playing for uh, African Ovu Festival. Yes, yes. Uh, on tenth of uh, March mm-hmm. at uh, Ngong Racecourse. Yes, so, fantastic. Uh, next week we are off uh, to Kilifi for a gig there. Mm-hmm. We are so sad to be missing Safari Com Jazz. Yeah, this time around, yeah. yes. Yeah, man. But Max we'll be Miller. Out of town. I know. Don't even say. It. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. But we'll be out of town. Uh, yeah. So we're doing like a, a small tour around. So we're starting off in Kilifi. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then Africa Novu mm-hmm. next month, and possibly Fantastic. keep your eyes locked for a gig mm-hmm. later this month for a proper al- album gig, right? Yeah. Did I say that right? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, your best music, music here, you can be sure to. We are supporting you, and we are behind you a hundred percent. Taris Riley sending good vibes, one beat at a time, and you're listening to the great Capital FM. Respect. <laughs>